In the past decade, the Chinese government has poured billions into its EV industry aiming to dominate the automotive market. However, the landscape has become increasingly complex, with many Chinese EV companies facing financial struggles and bankruptcy. This raises questions about the impact on both the Chinese and global EV industries. When China went full throttle on electric cars, hundreds of startups emerged, buoyed by government subsidies. However, this boom was unsustainable and within a few years, the number of registered EV companies plummeted from around 500 to just 90. Even this reduced number is still excessive for the market, leading to intense competition. In recent months, a wave of bankruptcies has hit the Chinese EV sector. Notable casualties include Neutron and Line, once promising companies that failed to sustain themselves. Most shocking was the bankruptcy of Evergrande New Energy Auto, a division of a major conglomerate, which incurred significant losses on every vehicle sold. Another significant bankruptcy is that of WM, a highly promising EV maker backed by major Chinese companies. Despite substantial initial funding, WM struggled to compete in China's cutthroat EV market, exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic and fierce price wars. Attempts at acquisition by companies like Kishan Auto Holdings have faltered, leaving WM's future uncertain. Facing these challenges, WM Motor has announced plans for extensive restructuring and securing new investors to reinvent itself. These developments underscore the immense pressure on Chinese EV makers to deliver cutting-edge technology at affordable prices while navigating financial obstacles and intense competition. As we've highlighted, the Chinese EV market is fiercely competitive, with price wars creating challenges even for major players. NIO, a leading company with advanced EV technology, faced disappointing sales, selling only 8,000 units in a recent quarter despite significant investments in production optimization. This resulted in substantial losses per vehicle sold, prompting NIO to seek capital infusion from Abu Dhabi and local government support to stay afloat. Even established manufacturers like Li Auto are feeling the heat from newcomers like Edo who offer similar features at lower prices. This intense competition has led to unsustainable business models, with many startups unable to deliver significant vehicle numbers. Companies like Evergrande New Energy Auto, Iwis, and Neutron have already shuttered factories or filed for bankruptcy, highlighting the precariousness of the market. However, startups backed by major corporations, such as Zer, stand a better chance of survival. Zer's dual strategy targeting luxury EVs in Asia and Europe and robo-taxis in North America illustrates a proactive approach to navigate the domestic price war and expand into international markets. As for Evergrande New Energy Vehicle Group, once hailed as a champion, its dramatic fall demonstrates the volatility of the industry. Despite being valued higher than Ford Motor Company, the company's future now hangs in the balance, serving as a cautionary tale of the risks inherent in the Chinese EV market. We foresaw a promising future for one of Tesla's major global rivals, but alas, the journey ended with dismal results. Despite high hopes, the company's sales record peaked at only 1,300 electric vehicles, accompanied by a staggering loss of nearly $24 billion. This equates to a jaw-dropping $17 million loss on every vehicle sold, sealing the fate of closure. Indeed, there's no room for small players in such turbulent times. These tumultuous waters in the Chinese automotive industry have significant implications globally. While China is poised to maintain its leadership in the EV sector, the industry's landscape will undergo drastic transformations. The initial decline from 500 EV companies in 2019 to around 90 today is just the beginning. Many more will succumb to the pressures of the relentless price war and the perpetual quest for technological advancement. It's a Darwinian struggle where the big fish feast on the small. Currently, a handful of companies control roughly 80% of total EV sales, with BYD leading the pack with sales in the millions. Conversely, at least one-third of these 90 EV makers barely move more than 2,000 units annually. Experts predict that around 20 more companies will face bankruptcy soon, either folding or being absorbed by larger entities. Survival in these tempestuous times favors those with the endurance for prolonged price wars. BYD and Tesla, with their low production costs and capacity to prioritize volume over profitability, stand as formidable contenders. Additionally, companies like Geely, with a robust international presence, are well-positioned to weather the storm. Despite China's prowess in EV technology, its domestic market struggles to sustain the multitude of companies, leading to their demise. Factors such as the COVID-19 pandemic, market downturns, soaring raw material costs, and capital shortages are catalysts for the seismic shift.
Inevitably, the industry will consolidate around a few major manufacturers mirroring trends in other parts of the world. As the landscape shifts, expect to witness a significant reshaping of the Chinese EV industry with only the strongest players emerging victorious. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, stay informed.